Good morning, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. Okay, we are back with the Wear Fit 2.0 app and this time we are going to demonstrate it on the iOS platform or your iPhone. Okay, so we have here the target wearable. Okay, it's a fitness tracker as a demo device okay so let's check let's see if we can install the wear fit 2.0 app okay in the ios platform so we have here the user manual okay so we have the qr code here the wear fit 2.0 app so for ios search app store to download wear fit 2.0 so we already have the android tutorial okay still the same just search the wear fit 2.0 okay so we have here okay our iphone and let's check let's search the wear fit here we have wear fit pro wear fit and we have the wear fit 2.0 Okay, so we have the Wear Fit 2.0 app. So I think this is the one. Okay, so let's check. Okay, Wear Fit 2.0. Okay. Let's check out the details here. So intelli intelligent alarm clock. So it provides support for different functionalities here. Okay, so it's it also support Apple Gear Fit Healthy application. What else? We have mixed reviews here. Last update was two weeks ago. 78.4 MB health and fitness. So it is available in health and fitness category. Okay, so let's install the app. Okay. So again, we already have this tutorial on our android platform you can check out the links below so this tutorial is for our ios platform or our iphone so let's wait okay it might not take a while here okay because it's just 78 mb very small app so let's wait now Okay, we're getting closer. So again, this is the step-by-step -step process on how to install the app in the iPhone or iOS platform. So we're done. Let's open the app. Okay. If you have any questions regarding the tutorial, please drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have the time. So we have here, okay, several permissions. So it is asking for our location here i think this is the gps so just select only while using the app where fit 2.0 would like to send you notifications notifications may include alerts sounds icon badges these can be configured in in settings just allow it then so it's time to sign up okay register you can use your Apple ID here or Facebook or let's go to direct access. So uh, let's stop on direct access. So just allow first. It's asking for permissions here. Okay, so we will allow it. Okay. So let's. I know. So let's wait. Still loading. Okay, the app is now fully loaded and we have here the UI. So this is the basic UI here. We all have the basic functionalities here. We have the home, the find location here another functions and the profile 
Okay. So let's check. Let's connect our device. So let's look for the location here. So the app does not bind the bracelet. Enter the connection management. So where is that connection management? So the connection management, again, is located here in the profile. So mine. So tap on connection management. Okay, so we have an ad here. Let's close it. Then connection management. So unbound bind bracelet. Okay, so let's check. So is this our bracelet, the T4? Okay, let's check. Let's go to the about section of our smartwatch. Okay. Let's D4 DB426A. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so let's wait and let's bind the wearable. Are we connected? So, Bluetooth pairing request. T4 would like to pair with your iPhone. So, tap on pair and let's see. Are we connected? Okay. So, let's check. Settings. 12 hours. Let's turn it on. We'll have a 12 hour here time. And let's go to the device management here. Let's check. Find bracelet. Okay, so we are connected. Okay. Turn on the erase the bright screen. For let's say let's check notifications. Do we have a notification settings? We chat sport. We do have Okay, seems like we all have the details here or the settings. Turn on. Okay, go to intelligent reminder. Okay, so app notifications allow. Okay, so everything is okay now and we are connected with our T4 okay, wearable. Okay, with our app. Okay, the wear fit 2.0. Demo or installation step by step installation in the iOS platform. Hey, so if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please drop a comment below, and of course, we'll try to answer your queries if we do have the time. Goodbye.